Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to buy an item. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled, if Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. We then want to click back on our home bar, and then we want to go insert our part, which is going to be holding the proximity prompt. So we can go rename this part if you want, it's not necessary, but we want to make sure that the part is anchored. Then in our part, we want to click on the plus button and insert a proximity prompt. Now you can go and adjust this proximity prompt to however you would like. You can change the max activation distance and you can also change it from being E to maybe backslash C, D, you know, you could delete button. It's really up to you, but for this tutorial, we'll be keeping it as E. And we'll also be keeping the max activation distance at 10. So once you've finished adjusting everything in the proximity prompt properties, we want to go click on the plus button next to the proximity prompt and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of the proximity prompt, we want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of the script inside the proximity prompt, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So where it says local item ID, we want to go and change this ID to our product ID. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using my floppy merch as our item. So we want to go and sell this. So if a person has to click E on their keyboard, they will be then prompted to purchase this floppy merch merchandise here, which is a Roblox shirt. So what we want to do, we want to go up here to the link and we want to copy the big bunch of numbers that is in the link, copy that, and then we want to take that back to Roblox Studio. So now that we're back in Roblox Studio, we want to go and remove this ID and then we want to go and paste in our item ID. So once you've inserted your new badge ID, you want to head over here, click on X to go save the script. Then you want to go over to your game settings, click on game settings, security, and then you want to enable third-party sales. Then we want to click save. Now that you've enabled third-party sales, you want to head over to either file and publish your game to Roblox and check it out in the main Roblox game, or you can click play or team test. It doesn't really matter what you do. For this tutorial, we're just going to be using play to go make sure that it all completely works. As you guys can see, we are now in the base play, and if we hold down E on our keyboard, we'll be prompted to purchase the merchandise. And as you guys can see, we can purchase the merchandise here. Now keep in mind, if you already own the item, you are most likely not going to be prompted to purchase the item again because you already own it. So what you can do to make sure that it works correctly is either ask a friend to test it, or what you could do is go to the product or the item on the main Roblox page, click on the three dots and click delete from your inventory, basically deleting the item from your inventory, but it is not completely necessary. You could just go and ask a friend or some random person on Roblox. But once you've done that, it should be prompted on your page just like this, allowing the player to go and purchase that item. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.